Hey everyone, welcome to another video. We are gonna do something different this week. We're gonna get off the couch and get moving. This is about sharing the love of industrial dance, breaking it down to be even a bit more simple, and at the same time, just getting some exercise, getting the body moving, and I hope you can join me. So that is what is coming up. Hello beautiful people, here we are, we're in the dance setup now, so hopefully you'll join in with me and we're going to kind of like break down some moves, really really simple stuff, but it's all about getting the body moving, getting kind of used to some industrial movements as well and then building on that from there. So this is going to be hopefully like a bit of a series and as you know I love sharing inspiration through music and dance so we're giving a bit of love to the dance side of things now as has been requested and my absolute pleasure to share it with you. So all right let's get started. All right so we're going to be using Be Here Now as our music and it's going to be about four moves so rather than doing a whole eight or 16 moves it's just going to be a group of four so it's going to be really easy to kind of get into a repetition with it and I'll show you what are going to be our first four moves. So the first four are going to be one, two, three and four. Really, really pretty simple. So one, both arms up, two, both arms down, three, crossing together and back to the sides. What you'll notice is the hip movement is just going side to side. One, two, three, four. So as I've talked about before, if you've seen it, it's really like the hip movements are a little bit of a lunge to either side. The hips stay quite straight, not like this. Hips staying quite straight, a little bit of a knee bend because we don't want to hurt ourselves. <laughs> so it's really just one, two, three, four. And then the arm movements again. So one, leaning over to this side, one, two, three, and four. Now there's been some questions in the past about whether it's like male or female style. My observation is with female movements it's more like you might have you know like the weapons, the guns <laughs> kind of here. Um, you know you might have like two or three fingers and be using it like that. No gestures intended but one, two, three, Four. So it just gives it a little bit of an elegance kind of thing. If it's guys, I would I would go with the fist or a fully open hand. So it's just a little bit more masculine when you start to bring that into it. You know, it's like the difference between one, two, three, four as a female, or one, two, three, four as a male. So you can understand like that really makes quite a big difference to the energy and the movement. So I think it's a good idea to start even quarter time first just to get the movements and just to kind of warm up to it and then we can go half time and look at full time, you know, no pressure, no pressure. You can hear the beats going. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we want the quarter time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remembering, hip side to side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Guys, you want to have the fist? Two, three, four. One, 
two, three, four. Oh, guys, you might want to hear that with hands. One, two, three, four. And you can play with the placement. One, two, three, four. Whatever works for you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. So we're gonna go half time now. Okay, one, two, three, four. So we want it on the one, two, three, four. 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 And let the movement become sort of flowing one to the other now, rather than sort of stopping at each movement. Flowing, continuous. One, two, three, four. And guys, making it masculine. Okay, how does that feel? Getting a feel for the flow of that. Okay, so before we have a go at this at full speed, I just wanna share like some ways that you can change this up. Okay, so we've got these basic movements now. One, two, three, four. And let's play with it in half time, but show you some variations of things you might do with that. So, one, two, three, four. You might go one side, and the other side. You know, variations. So it's just giving you a sort of range of movement to start to play with and you might change that up, you might go one side, a little double beat on a side can be quite good as well. But this is really just about getting things moving and getting a feel for the movement and then exploring where you can go with it. So we're not focusing on the legs just at the moment, we're focusing just on a bit of arm movement, a bit of body movement, getting things moving and flowing. So you want to have a little look at this at full speed. Again, it's just about making it one continuous movement. So once we've broken it down from quarter time, you've got a feel for each individual move. Then you can sort of bridge it together in half time, start getting a feel of one movement flowing to the next. Then in full speed, it's really just about keeping the arms loose, keeping things flowing, and just getting a bit more of a little bit more of a rhythm in there, get a feel for it in the legs, just the side to side of the 4-4 the four, four beat, and then we'll bring in the movements. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get a feel. One, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four. Very good workout. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Feeling adventurous? Want to change it up? All right, let's go. One side.
other side. Get creative. If it feels a bit too fast and you want to just build up a bit of stamina, you want to build up a bit of momentum there, just come back to half speed. It's just about getting the feel, the rhythm and the flow. All right. And as you can see, it's really quite easy to start changing it up once you've got a few moves and a feeling of that, feeling of the rhythm and the movement. All right, you got this. All right, beautiful people. So as promised, it is giveaway time. So what this means is if you do know or don't know, every live stream we have this magical purple bowl that has names in it from people who have liked or shared or commented on the Facebook post. So that's the post that goes out just before a live stream. So what I'm doing now is kind of carrying that over to the next week's video so that anybody who didn't get their name drawn last week still has a chance now to win an EP download. So very, very cool. And if your name is still in here, good luck because you still have a chance now to win an EP of your choice. All right, so this gets messy. This is part of the process. So basically, it's all about the last name hanging out here in my hand, and it gets messy. All right, so we have a name. Drum roll, please. All right. Ah, oh, and it is Hobie Benelli. <laughs> Always had to see this in this blurry light, but. Hobie Benelli, congratulations, you have won the EP download of your choice. Awesome. All right, so thank you so much to everyone being part of that. If you'd love to be part of that for the next live stream, next video, just make sure you hook up on the Facebook page and look out for those posts to share and comment and everything there. So I look forward to hopefully catching you on the next one, the live stream giveaway or the video giveaway, whichever it is. Awesome. All right, back to the video. All right, so we're gonna take it out with a little bit of freestyle, free form, and really just kind of using these movements and embellishing a little bit. And I will see you guys next time. All right, so big thank you for being here with me. And remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up to date with everything. Remember we've got live streams every second week over here, so hope you can join me for one of those. And of course, big love to my patrons, these guys over here, who, you know, make all of this possible. So big love to you guys. All right. Thank you again for being here with me. Look forward to seeing you at the next perfect time. And I'll see you soon. So bye for now and I'll be on board.